Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Civilization V. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. At the end of the last episode, we did pretty much everything that we needed to do, so we're going to click the next turn button straight away, and uh, the other countries are going to take their turns. Holy cow, the last episode was crazy. It was really, really awesome. Uh, South Korea is gone. Oh no, China has killed South Korea. That is really, really bad. You have a luxury resource that I would like. <laughs> you know what? Cool, you're gonna give us oil? Is there any more oil that you can give us? Honestly, that's that's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal. How much gold per turn do you have? You've got 76 gold per turn. Let's propose that. You'll go up to three. Okay. All right, I'll take it. Uh, Australia has denounced China. Yeah, I hope that the world decides that China is, uh, is a bad country because we want to try and liberate Seoul if at all possible. Now, you've plundered 100 from a caravan. I imagine that that was the Mexican caravan. Uh, yeah, I imagine that I imagine that people aren't going to be too, too happy with China, since they were relieved of their capital. But alas, uh, some famous person did once say, shit happens. Yo, shit happens. And you know what's really, really important is that we are going to be getting our hands on a whole bunch of new resources the more land that we take over. For example, coal. Yeah, it's not, not a lot of coal, but hey-ho, it's, it's nice to have it. Uh, uranium. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I will have that. Uh, you can create a great work of art yeah create a great work i was thinking for a second about doing culture there but i decided against it uh we can actually get a policy this turn we've got over the amount of culture that we need so i think we're gonna take wagon trails yeah get us shit tons of extra money which is lovely really really happy about that uh in miami i guess we probably Probably want oil fields. Give us a little bit of extra production, maybe. Honestly, we should really have... Uh, oh, local happiness is bloody awful, so that's great. Let's get medical labs, and then let's just, let's just go through and add some stuff to the queue. A stock exchange, apparently that makes people happy. Apparently it does. Armory, yeah, okay, so just a lot of stuff that we've got uh, that we've got queued up there. Uh, yeah, so I think you were building, were you not building rocket artillery? Oh no, you were building the, uh, the Los Angeles. Oh, we've already got a Los Angeles. Oh shit, okay. So this has got a strength of 50 and a range attack of 90, whereas these normal submarines... Oh, okay, ranged attack of only 60. So these... These two submarines, I guess, the two Los Angeleses, two Los Angeleses, is, 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 I guess they can go and patrol, we want them to go and patrol somewhere they can actually make a difference, like they can actually probably make a difference over here, I would imagine. You are going to come, in fact, actually, Panama City. Cancel your auto move. And, oh my god. You're seriously gonna... You're gonna shoot at my submarine. Fuck you then, okay? Just fuck you. Is there any way... Oh, lovely music. Yeah! Is there any way that we can... Just be friends with these guys? For not a lot of money? Because that would allow us to use the city, and I think theoretically we'd be able to go through it, and that is going to allow access, well, basically, oh, shit, we've, I did not realize that we had a, uh, a Los Angeles over here. Oh, shit, we've got Los Angeles is, 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 is everywhere. Oh, my God. Let's just send these Los Angeles over here, then. This is just a submarine. Let's upgrade this to a, a Los Angeles. Is. That's right, you heard me. We want uh, we want a presence in this area. Let's get the destroyers out. 
Not gonna have any missile. In fact, you know what? Yeah, let's let's get one missile cruiser out there. Just to try and protect Japan and whatnot. Because China is gonna be a really big bother. I would imagine. Destroyer, yeah, we'll get you to just chill up here. And no aircraft carriers as of yet, but hey ho. What is this? A missile cruiser? Land units, visibility range. I guess we'll get strength against land units. And you can go hills, forest, and jungle. Not like it really makes a difference. City connection has been established. Great. The city is puppeted, which means that we don't have to build anything, which is lovely. What are you building? Sid's Sushi. Great. I'm happy. Happy with that. Okay, but we need to basically keep in mind that, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, South Korea has been crushed, and that is a problem for us. No matter. We shall do our best. Uh, missile cruiser, you are going to be moving a little bit closer, and then you're going to be hitting the city. And the destroyer is going to come and wait around here. Now, where is where is this? Is there no rocket artillery? I think I need aluminium for rocket artillery, and every time I I slip below the threshold of aluminium. It just cancels the building of rocket artillery, which is terrible, actually. But I guess there's not much that you can really do. Um, I guess we just want to push down the border and and just come and crush them. I don't want to take any minor defeats, though. I'll take a minor victory. Or I'll take a minor victory next turn. Uh. On second thoughts, it might actually be wise to get the missile cruiser to come back and take care of Mexico City, because Mexico City is going to be very, very difficult to breach. We're going to need everything that uh, that we have to take that bad boy out. What have we got here? I don't care about civilization name. I want to sort by highest gold. Who can give me the most gold? That is not China. I don't really like China. China is going to be uh, a little bit of a problem for us, I think. So I guess let's go to Sydney. Yeah, we'll go to Sydney. That's good. Establish some, some new trade routes. I think the last trade route that we had used to be going up to Vancouver, but... Ah, whatever. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll fortify you. I would love to upgrade you, but we need some aluminium. Is anybody wanting to trade any aluminium with me? Whoa, you've got 12 oil. You want... Seventeen gold per turn. What if I just give you all of my coal? And then maybe like, I don't know, thirteen gold? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really interested right now in oil, but the, the fact that you've got a lot spare is of great interest to me. Does anybody have anybody have a large amount of aluminium? Because I really do need it. I really, really do. Nothing. Well, a little bit in Nigeria. Not very much, unfortunately. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna keep this around this this region, just in case you know shit hits the fan over there. We want to just make sure that we've got a global presence. You know, we want to make sure that everything is... Everything is under control. Uh, can't move you there, but that's fine. Fortify, fortify. You are going to go to sleep. Fortify. Next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely bloody beautiful. And I would think that this turn, we're definitely going to be able to take La Paz. The turn after that, we are going to be uh, assaulting Mexico City. And basically, we also want to make sure that we are very, very, very friendly with Panama. Now, do they have any missions? Completing quests. Yeah, I know. I know completing quests will uh, will help us out. But I don't think they have any quests right now. I don't think so. I didn't check. Yeah, they don't have any quests right now. Although, honestly, I could really do with getting a quest for them because it's going to cost me an absolute bloody fortune. I mean an absolute bloody fortune to uh, to deal with all of their stuff. I'm actually a little bit worried that this city was going to attack my, my submarine. 
which I thought was unique, you know, my Los Angeles, until I realized that, oh, wait, I've already got, like, 15 of the bloody things. So, you know, it's kind of nice, I guess. Kind of nice to realize that we're doing better than thought. You know, that's always a nice little tidbit of information to have, but at the same time, you know, a little bit disappointed that uh, it wasn't it wasn't special. I thought that it was special. I really did. All right. Oh, fantastic. Allows corporation franchises to spread to other cities. Cool. So let's go up here. Japanese missile cruiser, that's, that's fine. You, bombarding you, bombarding you, and that should be enough to go and take the rest of it. Yep, we should have no issues whatsoever there. And... You know, it's a nice city, right? It's a nice city. But at the same time, I want to annex it, and then I want to raise it. Why can't I raise it? Why can I not raise the city? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess we're, guess we're going to be managing this, this city. For a fucking while. Oh well, shit happens. I don't know why we can't raise it though. It's a little bit ridiculous. Stealth bomber. We should probably start flying some stealth sorties to deal with inventory or something. Probably a wise idea. To just, yeah, bombard them each and every turn. Yeah, we sort of want to get access to Panama. That's going to be a real key uh, key area for us in maintaining global global world order du, 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 du. Du, 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 du du such great music um completely completely overtaking china in tech it's nice I honestly don't care about any of this stuff. I guess we'll send... I guess we'll send the Los Angeles to middle of the Atlantic Ocean, but hey-ho. Missile cruiser, I want you to come over there. Yeah. Fingers crossed you're happy about that. Artillery, I have a feeling that if I set up to fire from here, shit's going to hit the fan. Oh, no, actually, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, I'll just fire on Mexico City, I guess, then. I'll head on over with my tanks. A great person has been born in my civilization. Oh, sweet. I have been looking for an opportunity to do this for, for a long time, actually. This great general... This great general could come in a huge help, actually. He really could, because if we build him right here, like right, why is he going to take this long to get around? Oh, whatever. If you want to do that, then that's that's fine then, buddy. Uh, but yeah, if we can build him right here, then we can basically just capture this aluminium area. In fact, yeah, no, here is the best place, if we because we can capture the aluminium area. And that would be super, super big for us, because aluminium is super, super important. Now, you must be almost finished. You're five turns away. My god, you take a long time. Uh, bombarding. Yep, that city. You know, literally every turn we're doing it, but hey-ho. It's a sacrifice that we must, uh, we must, that we must bear. Uh, decisive victory, but it's going to take you three turns to get there. Artillery. Don't think we're going to be able to move artillery up to here. Come, I have to move it over to this square. Hexagon. Shit, you know what I mean. As long as we don't accidentally use a nuclear missile, that would be a huge travesty, actually. Because we've we've done this this entire war with just conventional um, weapons. Now, who actually has access to nukes? Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot that we were at uh, we were at war with Brazil. Forgot about that for a minute. Whoops, whoops, a daisy. My bad. Um, 
Yeah, who has nukes? Pakistan, I think, has. Yeah, Pakistan has nukes. Pakistan has nukes. I knew Pakistan does. India has nukes as well. Theoretically has nukes. China almost certainly has nukes. Japan, I don't think, has nukes. Russia certainly does. Or perhaps not. Maybe I'm just not seeing them, though. Berlin? Eurofighter Typhoon. That's cool. But I don't think you've got any nukes. And uh, and Canada. Good old Canada doesn't actually. My god, the game is loading in at a very, very slow pace. But, you know, hey-ho, I guess it's worth it. It's worth it if we want to make America great again. Yeah. You know, and that's why we're going to, to war against the uh, the Mexicans. That's That's why. That's why. Yeah, so I guess we uh, we learned a lesson from this city. We're not going to be raising anything. You're plotting. You're plotting. Denver demands cloves. Wow, fantastic. Lion units, visibility, or a heal. Lion units, of course, lion units. Uh, lion units as well. Lion units, boarding party. 20% against cities. We'd never really ask you to... Uh, to do that. Oh, a citizen from Beijing has come to Chicago. Good. I'm glad that we've uh, managed to... Oh, God. Angola has declared war on us because Brazil allied with them. That's fine. Whatever. doesn't really matter. Uh, we're still in a really, really good situation anyway. A really good situation and position. Let's go here. Can we not bombard Mexico? Suddenly, I'm not feeling so confident. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Uh, finish the National Epic. That's really good. Let's have a look at the queue. That's the word that I was looking for. 11 food, not bad. Let's get some armory, some, you know, some basic stuff. Sid Sushi, I guess. We sort of need culture. Like, that's it's kind of a little bit important for us. I think we should be able to hit it from, like, this side. Excuse me. Let me let me go back here, game. Thank you. I think we may be able to hit it... Maybe from, like, this angle, but I don't know. I, I, I do not know. It's, it's on the top of a hill, so it's going to be pretty darn difficult to, to take out, actually. You are ready to fire. You can fire on Mexico City. Grand. Move you forward. Get you up on a hill as well. And you can go forward. Do we have any, any more artillery? I swear we had more artillery than that. that was, that's a pathetic amount of artillery. Oh, we've got one more artillery. Wherever we put this artillery, it's gonna get it's gonna get shot. Pretty much guaranteed. Kinda sucks, but hey ho. I guess we'll have to, to pay that price. Uh, also the reason that I'm not pillaging the land is because, well, we are gonna be we are gonna be inhabiting this land, so what is the point in pillaging it? Literally no point. You can fortify. You can fortify, you can fortify, and we can go to the next turn. Holy shit, this is progress like we've never seen before. This is insane. You want me to move the submarine around a little bit? Can I move it into uh, Japanese territory? Apparently I can. Good to know, good to know. Got a Chinese nuclear submarine. Shit. Not good. We don't really want to declare war on China right now, but... You know, certainly... We could start some sort of a conflict. Also, uh, Canada is supposed to be at war 
against Mexico with me. So far, they've been fucking useless. Like, what sort of a what sort of an ally is that? We've got pretty much, pretty much nothing. Pretty much, they've done pretty much nothing. They've literally done pretty much nothing. Which is a little bit of a shame, actually, because uh, I had high hopes for Canada. I thought that they were going to be my eternal ally. I guess not. Who knows? James Webb Space Telescope. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm very, very glad. Uh, I'm sure that we will complete some stuff pretty soon. Or some stuff eventually. Saudi Arabia has denounced China. Seems like a whole heck of a lot of people are, uh, are fighting China. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to denounce China. I want to jump on this bandwagon. Everybody's denouncing China, so I'm going to do it. Looks like Hong Kong uh, is not actually an island in this game. Although I suppose, you know, even in real life, it's so close to the mainland that from a map, it probably looks like it's basically the mainland. Washington can no longer work on the James Webb Space Telescope. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize that we were even building it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, anyway, let me just denounce China. Discuss. Publicly denounce. Yes. You have sullied your reputation with such a foolish move. I'm glad we're so friendly. Okay, Washington. What is Washington actually going to build now? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought I was working on SID's mining thing, yeah. Railroad is also required. We've got railroad here. Young army, like... What? We've got all that stuff. We've got all of it. It's fine. It's not an issue. Um... Oh, that's, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I didn't even realize that we were working on the space telescope. From Durban came to Houston, and from... I don't even want to try that, but another citizen to Houston. That's kind of nice. What? A hurricane has devastated Anchorage. Well, maybe when these workers are fucking done with the oil, then they can come and fix everything up. But until then, we ain't, we ain't leaving the oil. Oh yeah, shit, what actually ended up getting enacted? I, I, I didn't even check. Oh, we don't even know yet. We don't even know yet. Nothing has happened as of yet. Maybe they both failed. Maybe both the resolutions actually failed. I don't even know what the James Webb Space Telescope is going to do. But I'm pretty sure James Webb was an American scientist. Literally no idea, but I'm, I'm going to suggest that he probably was. Um... This is uh, it's going to be costly. We, we might use our lose our first unit of the the battle. All right, now let's see if we can make it so this boat is in a position to fire. Literally nothing that we can do. We can bomb the shit out of this artillery. Uh, this uh, not artillery, the uh, inventory. But that's about it. Now, can we do something about Mexico City from here? Hey, we can do something from there. Let's do that. There we go. Moving up. Now, how much would it cost for Russia to declare war on China? Wow. Holy shit. You wouldn't even... You wouldn't even flinch at doing that. My god. I mean, China's got a city all the way out here in the middle of the bloody desert. And Russia isn't very well defended over here, so Russia would probably get destroyed. I don't know, that's that's maybe something to think about, because if we can force them to declare war at with such ease, then, you know, that's that's great. That's real great. Where did that great general go? Is he... 
Why did why was he like going all the way up and around here or something? Like, I don't really understand that, but hey ho. Alright, units needs orders. Units always need orders. Uh pretty sure that there's nothing that we can do to reach Mexico City. Yeah, nothing we can do to reach Mexico City. Kinda sucks, but hey ho. I guess I will send the missile cruiser from here all the way out to the South China Sea, I guess. Might help things a little bit. Let's take you back. Let's put you forwards. Just replacing replacing the old tanks with with new tanks. So we should do a little bit more damage to the city because we just got a plus 15% uh, upgrade in strength or whatever. Set up for firing and you can fire there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We're doing damage, you know. It is it is slow damage, but it is damage nonetheless, and that is what counts, isn't it? It really, really is. Okay, uh, we could attack the city. I don't think I really want to do that quite yet, though. Yeah, let's uh, let's head over there. Let's head over here. Let's just try and get as many troops as we can to surround the city so that they're basically fucked. I mean, they're basically fucked already, but I just want to make sure that they are, you know, they're doubly fucked. Alright, and just going to move this battleship up here. And fingers crossed, everything goes nice and smoothly. Now, you go out there. Artillery go up here, go forward. I don't think that you're going to be able to uh, do very much artillery. I think you're going to get shot the first turn, but it's worth it. It's worth a try to uh, to try and put a little bit of pressure on uh, on Mexico. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, I could actually take this city with just probably probably two missile cruisers. Well, and a third one from here, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll we'll see in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Oliver Potato. And, uh, yeah, this has been Civilization V. Make America great again. Until next time, folks. Bye.